Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate amazing, absolutely amazing AI images for your blog posts with ZimWriter in MidJourney. If you're not familiar with MidJourney, it is the number one AI image generator in the world. And not only that, it blows what you can get out of stock photo websites out of the water. I've never seen images like this before. This is absolutely jaw dropping. I'm going to share that with you because ZimWriter will actually generate blog posts with a mid journey prompt at the top of each blog post relevant for the particular article. It's very easy to use and get amazing images for your blog post. Let me demonstrate. So there's a couple of blog posts I generated about animals. This is called the Art of Animal Camouflage, How Nature's Masters of a Disguise Evade Predators and Capture Prey. So the image that ZimWriter generated, the prompt, okay, like a prompt for ChatGPT or a magic command, the prompt is a photo close-up of a chameleon skin morphing in and out of vibrant colors against a leafy backdrop. And then there's another article here. This is The Healing Power of Animals, How Our Four-Legged Companions Improve Our Mental and Physical Health. So the prompt here is a photograph of an elderly woman with a gentle smile walking with a contented Labrador in a meadow of wildflowers on a sunny day. I'm excited to see what that, you know, how that's going to turn out. ZimWriter generated these two prompts for us in these two articles, and we are going to generate some AI images with these prompts. Now, we're going to need two things for this. The first is MidJourney, a MidJourney account. You can make a MidJourney account completely for free. I believe the free accounts give you 20 generations a month. And then, and they don't let you use, like if you look at these prompts, it will say dash V and then a space in five. So that's like version five of mid journey. That's like the most powerful version. If you don't have a, if you don't have a paid account, you have a free account, you can only use version four. Okay. But mid journey has amazing photos. And these are some examples of them. I believe a lot of these were generated with the version five with the paid account, but you can still get a taste for it, a feel for it with the free account. Okay. So let's look at some of these. Like this is a bear diving in the water to save her cub. Look at the quality of that. That's absolutely stunning. Unbelievable. Some of these other photos. Here's a bird. <laughs> like That looks like a real bird. It looks like a photograph. Some of these other things, like look at this. Oh, look at this person right here. And what's really cool about MidJourney is they'll share the prompts that generated this image. So you can study the prompts and learn, all right, by looking at the images and the prompts that generated them. So this is a still from 1976 hit British comedy. There's a squirrel on my head, the funniest movie ever made. Look at the squirrel's eyeballs. I could spend hours just looking at some of this stuff. This is just insane. Get the MidJourney account. And then what you need to do is create a Discord account. Now, this is the weird part. Normally a business, okay, like an AI image generator business, you'd go to their website to generate the images. That's not what happens here. There's a platform called Discord. Think of it like a, a chat platform with lots of different groups. Most of the groups are invite only. For whatever reason, MidJourney uses Discord as the place where you'll go and you'll chat with the MidJourney robot to generate the images. I don't know. It's weird, but that's just how, you know, that's the name of the game right now. They have the best images in the world. These are the hoops you got to jump through. So you make a Discord account and that's completely free. You don't have to pay a dime for this. And you'll connect your Discord account to your MidJourney account. I believe that when you create your, create your Discord account first, and then create your mid-journey account. And I believe when you create your mid-journey account, it will like invite you to the mid-journey Discord server or something like that. If for whatever reason it does not, you can click this little plus here to add a server and join a server and then don't have an invite. And you'll see mid-journey right here and you can just join up. That's very easy. Now you can generate your images inside of the MidJourney server. So these are all different servers on here. You can generate your images in these newbie groups. Okay. And to generate an image, all you do is you type backslash or forward slash, whatever that is. Imagine, and then your prompt. Okay. Imagine a person walking on the beach at sunset. That's literally all you have to do. And then you just wait a minute or two for the result to come out. Now, one of the problems with generating your images in these newbie groups are 
you're generating images with everybody else. And forget for a second that other people can see your images. Who really cares about that? There's millions of people generating images right now. The problem is your images are going to get lost in the mix. It's hard. Like someone else is generating something down here. We've already lost my my generation up here. Where is it? A person walking on the beach at sunset. And this is not even the busy time. During the busy time, this is just going to be scrolling up and up really fast with people generating things. Long story short, generating your images inside of these newbie groups is not really recommended. Okay. I believe on a free account, but you definitely on a paid account, what you can do is invite, and this sounds really wonky. You can invite this mid journey bot. Okay to a private channel, they call it a private server, okay? So we're gonna create a private server right now, add this mid-journey bot to the private server, and then it will just be me and the bot, and we can both converse together and create whatever images we want. So add a server, create my own, skip this question, we'll call it images, and we'll create the server. So now this is my images server, okay? And I can create different channels inside the server. But right now, what I'm going to do is click back on the mid journey server. Created my own server, clicking back on the mid journey server right now, going over here to the mid journey bot. And I'm going to click on the mid journey bot. And there's a button here called add to server. Okay. So just to reiterate, I'm in the mid journey server again. I've already created my images server. I'm going to go over here and click on the mid journey bot, click add to server. And I'm going to select images. So I'm adding the bot now to my images server. And it's going to say it's going to read all our stuff. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to authorize it. Yes, I am a human. I'm inviting a robot to my server. There we go. Now, if we click back on our images server, we'll see the members, me and the robot. Awesome. Exactly what we want. Now, when I generate images in here, there's no one else going to be generating images in here, so my images won't get lost, okay? Now, people can still see the images that you generate unless you pay extra for a stealth plan and no one can see your images. So let's go over here and take these prompts that ZimWriter generated, and we're going to paste them in. So I have a paid plan, so I'm going to take this version 5. If you don't have a paid plan, you'll want to change this 5 to a 4, okay? We'll copy this, and we'll just paste this right in here. Now I pasted it and you'll notice nothing happened. Okay. Because, and this is, I don't know, this is weird to explain. It didn't recognize the command here because I just pasted it so fast. You have to paste it in and then you'll, it will look like this. If it doesn't look like this, you're doing something wrong. Okay. So just retry and let's do the other one right now. Paste it in. It didn't catch it. I guess I missed that forward slash. Let's try it again. There, there it goes. Now we got it. Cool. So we got our two images generating a photo close up of a chameleon skin morphing in and out of vibrant colors against a leafy backdrop. And then a photograph of an elderly woman with a gentle smile walking with a contented Labrador in a meadow of wildflowers on a sunny day. So let's check this out. This is 31%. And this is that 15%. We'll just wait for it to finish. Now, by default, Mid Journey is going to generate four different images, okay? And they're numbered one, two, three, four. And that's going to, it's going to mean something in a second. Wait till it finishes. One, two, three, four. Okay. So here's the results. Man, they all look amazing. So you can tell that they're not large. We've enlarged this and this is as large as it gets right now. So this is not very useful. We can't just, we could take this and drag it to our desktop and that's perfectly fine, but we can't use this for our blog post because it's not high enough quality. So there's some options here. There's use and then Vs. Again, one, two, three, four. U means upscale. Okay. So basically get a higher quality of one, a higher quality of two, higher quality of three, high, higher quality of four. We can regenerate all of them, remaster them and retry the generation. Or we can also do a variation. Like maybe we like this one in particular, we can do a variation of three. That would be three right here. Or if we like this one, that's number one, we can do a variation of one. I personally like this one right here. He looks like he's looking at it. This guy's like depressed, depressed. I like this one. So we'll upscale number one. All you got to do is press press that one button right there. We wait a moment and then we'll be 
the upscaled version. We can enlarge it and now drop it to our desktop. And there it is. Now we've downloaded this photo. This is completely unique. This has never been generated before. There's no copyright on it. I can freely use this on my website as a stock image for this blog post. Very simple. Let's check the other one out. This is the lady walking a Labrador. Wow, that's insane. Which one do you guys like? I don't know. They all look really good. So it looks like she's lost. She can't find her dog. This looks, this one looks nice. There's two dogs in here, but man, that, that really looks nice. So we'll upscale number one. And again, you can, I can click on this to get variations. I'll, I'll do a variation on all of them real quick. But look at that. So we will open a browser. We're just going to drag that to our desktop. And there is our free stock photo image. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So here's the prompt again, a photograph of an elderly woman with a gentle smile, she's smiling, walking with a contented Labrador in a meadow of wildflowers on a sunny day. Absolutely amazing. Better than any stock website. This is, you'd have to pay somebody to go in and stage this photo right here. It's that good. Absolutely incredible. Let's go back and look at the variations. So again, we asked it to do variation. We said, okay, I want you to, to regenerate all these four images, kind of do it again for us. Let's see what we get. 93%. There we go. Wow. Oh, man. This one looks okay, but the dog's like freaking huge. This looks really good. Wow. Two is amazing. You could just spend hours on here finding that perfect photo. But this stuff is just fantastic for a blog post. Wow. Absolutely incredible. I still like what we generated first the most. Let's look at both of those. So there's our chameleon and there's our lady walking the dog. Incredible. Hey, I hope this demonstrated the power of AI images, especially from mid journey, because the quality that you're seeing that you saw here, nothing compares to it. Okay. Forget all the other AI image generators on the market. Mid journey is where it's at. If you want to use AI images, you'll use mid journey. Otherwise you use like a stock image website. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you could get some awesome images for your blog posts. Again, all of the articles generated by Zimwriter will have that mid-journey prompt up top. There's also, I forgot to mention this, there's also an option inside of Zimwriter. So you go to the, uh, I think it's just in the SEO, maybe it's in the bulk also. Yeah, here it is. Okay. It's in the bulk. It's also in the SEO blog writer. There's an option to have a mid-journey prompt, not only at the beginning of the article representing the entire article, but also for each H2. Some people for each H2 like to have a different image to grab that attention of the reader. You could do that too. Obviously, it will take more time to generate each one inside of mid-journey because it's all a manual process. But I hope this gave you some ideas because this is exciting. I This is like the best time to be alive right now. AI images, AI blog posts, AI videos coming next. I can't wait to share that with you. If you are using this and you're getting great results, I'd love to hear about it. Drop a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe. There's a link to Zimwriter in the description below. Also join the Facebook group. There's over 7,000 amazing AI enthusiasts in that group. I would love to have you join. So look, until next time, until we talk again, good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.